Oh, hey, it's Curtis. <gasps> he shaved. No way, what the heck? He shaved. He shaved he his shaved. mustache. There's no way he shaved. Is that? Is he serious? Yes. Yeah. The, the rumors are true. I shaved my mustache. I wanted to keep it, but I was threatened by People Magazine with violence because I was practically a shoe in for the sexiest man alive 2021, and they they wanted to give it to Blake Shelton again. So just for my own safety, I had to shave it off. But it's all good. It'll come back bushier, bigger and stinkier the next time. Okay, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, <laughs> what's up? How's it going? It is really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> okay, folks, I think it's safe to say that TikTok is pretty popular. And I feel like if you were to ask a boomer about TikTok, they'd probably be all like, it's bad, it's harming, it's harming the young generation. You know, boomers, how they're always doing this. I wouldn't say that, I'm the youngest man alive. But no, I'll admit it, I used to think TikTok was all bad, but it's good sometimes. And some people might say it's shortening our attention span and making us dumber, but dude, I've learned so much from TikTok. You got people like Hank Green, known only for being a guest on the very, really good podcast, and nothing else. He's on there talking about science, teaching us cool facts. You got doctors on there teaching us about medicine and health. And you've got the freaking Sway Boys on there teaching us how to be savage AF. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god, my knee cracked. I'm not a sway boy, I'm a sway man. Yeah, move over, Dobrik brothers. There's a new- Oh wait, no, Dobre. Dobre brothers. Move over, Dobrik brothers. There's new grocery boys in town. So there's a bunch of stuff to learn on TikTok, but there's something that we're taught like really frequently when you're younger, but not so much when we're adults. And that is safety. When you were a kid, it was all about being safe. Safety was like the number one priority because they didn't want a dead kid on their hands. It leaves a stain. You don't want them on your hands. You're always told to wear a helmet, even though it was like lame to wear one for some reason. Shut up. Brain damage is lit. But riddle me this. If helmets were really good, they'd be called heaven mitts. So safety was always super important though. My Southern Ontario viewers will know what I'm talking about, but there was this place called Safety Village that we would go to every year like on a field trip in elementary school it was like this tiny fake village where you just you go and you learn how to be safe man you get to rip around in little cars there was a fake dead body trapped under the ice to teach you to not walk on a frozen lake that still scars me to this day mascot was a bunny i think it was fucking awesome man but if i went there today like alone to learn how to be safe be weird as fuck man especially if i had my mustache <laughs> they think I was like an employee teaching kids to stay away from strangers. So as an adult, we need another way to, you know, learn how to be safe. And that's where TikTok comes in. Today, we're going to be looking at a few TikTok accounts that are all about teaching you how to be safe. So without further ado, put on your closest helmet or your furthest one, doesn't matter. And uh, let's watch some safety TikToks. The first account we're going to be looking at is called Lean Bibles. I learned how to do this in the Lean Bible. Wow, so funny. Just kidding, fuck you. So this account posts like these computer generated hypothetical dangerous situations and they teach you how to avoid them and how to stay safe within them. Uh, like this one, for example. I have a few questions, but the first one, what? So I'm assuming this woman was arrested for taunting these highway lions. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, the lion didn't even seem that bummed. It was kind of just like, huh? But then the police decide <laughs> that a fair punishment for taunting these lions is to launch her <laughs> out of a moving vehicle into that same lion pit. All cops are bozos, dude. That's a terrible punishment. That's like arresting someone for robbing a bank and then to punish them, you launch them into a big pile of money. Yeah, that'll teach you a greedy crook. Enjoy all that free cash. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Hey, shut up back there. <laughs> but hey, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a creative punishment. <laughs> okay, how about we move on? Let's look at another one. Maybe this one will be a little more relatable. Jesus, guys. This is my favorite Nicki Minaj song. A bees in the chunk. Bees, bees in the chunk. First off, let's get this out of the way. How dare you post this and not put be careful. You deserve to be launched out of a moving vehicle into a highway lion pit for that. 
But what's the lesson here, right? <laughs> what are they trying to what are they trying to teach us? Don't open your trunk or else bees will swarm you and then men will swarm you and spray you with fire extinguishers. <laughs> yeah, that's the weirdest part. <laughs> like, if these guys use fire extinguishers to get rid of bees, what do they do to stop a fire? Oh, these are gonna be delicious. Oh my god. Uh, uh, fuck, fuck, uh. Yeah, you gotta come quick. It's out of control over here. Okay, okay. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh my god. What happened? We... We have to get out of here, come on. It's okay, it's okay, I called the authorities. They should be here any moment. Why'd you put so much emphasis on the bees? Okay, how about we don't get hung up on my grammar? The house is covered in bees if you couldn't tell. What? Somebody order a beekeeper? Where are those bees? Oh, thank God, the beekeeper's here. Right over here, sir. Wait, hold on, I thought you called 911. Well, for a few bees? I don't wanna waste their time. There could be a house on fire somewhere. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh oh Oh my god. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh shit! Can you call your beekeeper? I can't lose him! We're in love! What? You two are dating? Yeah, we met on Bumble. Oh, boo. I could have made a Tinder joke at the end of that as well, and it still would have made sense. Okay, we still haven't learned anything about how to be safe, so... Let's watch another one. Be careful. Man swallows 87 nails, 7 push pins after a fight with girlfriend. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what are they arguing about that could possibly prompt him to do that, right? You never swallow 87 nails and seven push pins. Oh, she's right. <laughs> also, dude, it is so funny to think that like this is his natural response to any argument that he gets into with his girlfriend. <laughs> like you'd assume he'd just go get a beer, right? He'd maybe go to a bar, blow off some steam. But no, this guy just pulls up to a fucking Home Depot and is just like, hey barkeep. The usual, please. Trouble in paradise, huh? Yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> well, here you go, sir. Here's your usual. 87 nails and seven push pins. Neat. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Picked the wrong week to quit, huh? <laughs> Ow! Oh. <coughs> Sorry to interrupt, sir. I think the new girl has a question for you. Okay. Would you like another nail, sir? Well, sure, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, back to this video and all of their videos, I guess. It says, be careful on the top. And like, be careful of what? Be careful of the guy who just swallowed 87 nails and seven pushpins? Yeah, I know, he's crazy. <laughs> or maybe they mean, be careful when you eat 87 nails and seven pushpins. But no, if you're doing that, you're not being careful. You're not being careful to begin with. Like they put be careful on every single one of their videos, but they never tell you how to prevent any of these things or even what to be careful of. It's just, be careful. Like you can be extra careful and terrible things can still happen. Ask my parents. Okay, let's watch another. This one surprisingly isn't caption be careful. It's like the one that isn't. It says man argument. So let's see what happens. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, like I said, you can learn so much from TikTok. Here's what we learned so far. When you argue with your girlfriend, you swallow 87 nails and seven push pins. When you man argument, you spawn two crossbows and go to jail. I think I'm finally starting to wrap my head around this whole safety thing. <laughs> so what are you in for? Man argument, us, us too. too. It's so funny to think every man argument ends <laughs> that way. <laughs> like imagine you go watch like a debate and then when whenever the moderator asks the question, both of the guys are just like, <laughs> Dude, I just don't understand like who's making them, who they're making them for, why they're making them. I'm just, the whole, all these videos confuse me so much. Like it looks like footage from either the worst movie of all time or the best video game of all time. <laughs> Whoever's in charge, props to them. I uh, love lean Bibles, you know, buy, <laughs> 
Bibles have been pretty scrawny for the last couple thousand years, so I'm finding there's some uh, lean ones. Does your Bible even fucking lift, bro? Lift spirits, maybe. That's about it. But surprisingly enough, this isn't the only account that posts videos like this. There is another one called Health Clinic, and they actually don't put be careful on every single one of their videos, which is nice, but uh, okay, it is their profile picture, so no matter what, you're always reminded to be careful. So let's take a look at those. <laughs> okay, well, this TikTok actually uh, unlocked a brand new fear for me because usually when I'm in a public restroom, I want to be in and out as fast as I can. Okay, I speed run shitting in public bathrooms. So if there was something that was forcing me to be stuck in a public bathroom for even a second longer than I have to be. I'm starting an argument with the first guy I see so he can shoot me with a crossbow. Just fucking kill me, you know? Also, putting aside the fact that they got there so fast to remove her gluey ass from the toilet seat aside, why did the Home Depot employees show up too, right? The fuck they doing there? Is that one of the duties of a Home Depot employee? Hi, I'm Homer Depot. Welcome to your new job at Home Depot. We're happy to have you on board yeah, we like to joke around here a little bit. Now that you're part of the Home Depot family, it's important that you learn our core values. We like to boil it down to S, G, B, D. S, sell tools. G, give men 87 nails and seven push pins to ingest. B, be careful. And last but not least, D, drop whatever you're doing to see a girl's ass get ripped from a toilet seat. Just remember Home Depot's core values and you'll fit in better than 87 nails and seven push pins fit into an angry man's stomach. I still don't even know if we've learned anything about safety yet, so bear with me, let's keep going. Okay, so we got... Okay. Jesus. What? Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> doctor looks way too stoked to be putting a finger in a guy's ass. Maybe all doctors look like that when they do that. I guess you never know what their faces look like because you're facing the other way. Do you imagine <laughs> getting a prostate exam and then you turn around and your doctor is just like, spread those cheeks. Also, the Home Depot employees, what are they doing there? Anything that has to do with shit or poo, the Home Depot employees are right there. They're freaks. Occupied. <laughs> I mean, someone's in here. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, be careful. So after watching a bunch of their TikToks, it turns out that they use that same Home Depot clip at the end of like every single one of their videos for some reason. I'm sure they just reused it once afterwards and everyone fucking lost their mind about it. So they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just keep doing that. And it says in their bio that they're the creator of the Home Depot trend. You know the trend, right? You know the Home Depot trend? when the popular TikTokers will do their little dances and then they'll put in a CGI clip of Home Depot employees rushing into a bathroom stall. Okay, you know what? I'm getting fed up. We haven't really learned anything yet. How about we watch one more and uh, see if we can finally learn some good safety tips. <laughs> oh my God. What an evil way to smoke weed. He just like screamed the smoke out of his mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> that is... The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, I think. Okay, so the, <laughs> sorry, the caption is, be careful, don't leave. I think that means don't marijuana, don't smoke weed, I guess. Uh, so let's see what happens when you smoke weed. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, fucking pardon, man. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that took a big turn. Turn. Took a big turn. I don't think weed made him do this. I think he's just unhinged. I think he's fucking crazy. If someone goes... I don't think someone would just be like, yeah, it's because of the weed. Oh shit, this is why stoners are always asking for papers, right? Like toilet paper, they need to wipe the shit off their walls. Also, what's wild about this video is that like, someone smeared shit on a wall and that's not even the craziest part of the video. To me, screaming while you blow smoke out of your mouth, that's, that's gotta be the craziest thing 
that I've ever seen. Like if I saw someone do all of this, I wouldn't even comment on the poop on the wall. I'd just be like, why do you fucking scream when you blew smoke out of your mouth, man? I cannot get over how funny that is, man. Imagine walking out of like an office building, a bunch of people are having a smoke break and it's just everyone screaming at each other. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see how it can get any weirder than that. So how about we, how about we end it there? What do we learn? Obviously the big lesson we learned was be careful, but more specifically, be careful of Home Depot employees when you take a poo. Hey, more like Home Depot, am I right? Cut the fuck was that? What? I thought of a, a funny little joke. I thought I'd improvise. Is that not okay? Okay, well, we don't pay you to improvise. Okay, stay on script or you'll never work in Hollywood again. Do you think we're in Hollywood right now? Oh, yeah. Also, no, I'm not gonna stay on script, okay? Home Depot was funny. <laughs> Sorry. It is pretty funny. See? Now that's a sound guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's a great one, man. This guy's on a roller. I don't encourage him. Sorry. <laughs> but you have to stay on script, okay? No, I'm not going to stay on script, okay? This is, we have a I'm team. Curtis. This step. is my channel. Yeah. I can I can make yeah. jokes if I want. I can Come improvise, on, okay? What are you doing? You're going to let me do that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you anymore. Bitch. This is enough. I've been, I've been dealing with you for years, man. You're fucking annoying. You're going to bitch about it. You're going to bitch about it. More like Home Depot. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, press the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, also, one like equals one nail that I will swallow and seven push pins. Let me know if you want a part two because there's a bunch more videos that I had to cut out for just time's sake. So let me know if you want me to do another one because there's a bunch of these fucking videos and they're insane. But yeah, press the subscribe button because as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. You can check the description for the other things I do. My Twitter, Instagram, uh, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. I also got a gaming channel, Curtis Pogger. I do Twitch streams twice a week. All right, that's it. I would stick around, but I have to go, unfortunately. There's some highway lions that I have to taunt. So, peace. Peace.